welcome back to my channel, Lux by Luminescence. I'm Anne-Marie and if you haven't been here before, slight disclaimer, I am not a professional makeup artist by any stretch of the imagination. I am just a woman who's used a lot of makeup in her time, the good, the bad and the ugly. So today, as you've seen by the thumbnail, I decided to do something slightly different. I decided to ask my cats to pick my makeup routine for today and as you can imagine uh cats don't give a shit so <laughs> it was harder work and there's gonna be a lot of editing that has gone into it um my cavity barely raised his head the whole time uh that was slightly better but um yeah we got there eventually so it's not something that i would definitely uh suggest if you are in a rush Nikki Tutorials did this, yeah, and her dogs were like all over it and my cats were like, I'm a cat. Okay, so let's get into it. Here are my two kitty cats. My cavity looks like he's going to be exceptionally useful as he is fast asleep. It may be Princess Belle that has to uh, come to the rescue. So, Belle, are you ready to pick my makeup? She's looking at me like, what the fuck are you talking about? Okay, Belle, so you got to pick primers. Okay, Mac, you gonna help? Okay, so we got, we go, which one, Belle? Which primer is mummy gonna put on her face? What do you think? Pick one. Pick one then. Wow. Zero shits given. Belle, psst, psst, psst. which one of these? Which one do you want? Which one? Come. Which one? My cavity, turn around. Really? Oh, okay, my cavity has picked the Goddess Glow Primer, I think by simple merit of the fact that he turned his head around, okay? So the first thing that McCavity lazily kind of uh, picked for me was the Revolution Pro Goddess Glow Primer. So I'm not mad with that, to be honest, They've done quite well. They haven't done me too dirty on any of the products. And I did put a few in there that could have been interesting. So, um, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm happy with that. I, I don't know about the foundation, but we'll get to that in a minute. So, Goddess Glow Primer. It's one of my favourite primers, to be fair, at the moment. I really like uh, the glow that it gives underneath. Okay. Okay, so the Goddess Glow Primer is on. Now for foundation. That is a different way. We've now woken her up. Come, pick. No, this way. Okay, which of the foundations, Belle? Which foundation is Mummy gonna wear? Which one? You're just sat right in front of the camera. Which one? That one? This one? You want this one? Ah, oh, conceal and define. It's like the thickest one. Yeah, okay, that one. So the kiddies chose conceal and define, thanks. <laughs> Which is definitely my most full coverage foundation. And I'm still not sure how I feel about this foundation. It's just very thick. Um, it's not a look that I normally go for, but thanks, Belle. <laughs> so we'll just kind of swipe on it says got a doe foot as well and i'm not sure how i feel about doe foot because normally i just put it on the back of my hand and then uh kind of like tap it out so i just feel like you get more when you've got a doe foot uh, i suppose i could put it on the back of my hand and still tap it out but um yeah okay so we'll point it on anyway it's very pale i'm quite pale at the moment i'm tanned at the moment from sitting in the garden but
Okay, so the foundation is on. Thank you very much, Belle, for making me so pale. I just don't know how I feel about full coverage foundations. I mean, it looks nice on the skin. It's obviously paler on camera than it is in uh, real life, but... I just don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It's a bit more glowy, which is good because it's got the glowy found uh, primer underneath. So there is a bit of a glow still coming through, which is, is good because, you know, I like to glow. Um, okay, so next is concealer. Might be having more success with this now. So we're going to go for concealers. Right, Belle. Which concealer? Hmm? Come on. Pick the foundation, now you have to pick the concealer. Which one? Which one of these? Hey, be a nosy cat. Come. <laughs> what if I stand them up? Are they more interesting if they're stood up? Bell? What if I stand them up? Because then you can knock them down. What do you think now, Belle? Psst, psst, psst. Oi, never mind the carpet. Which one? Okay, there we go. So the concealer, Belle picked uh, the Cakeless Concealer by Benefit. So that's a good kind of standard. So we're just going to go in with a bit here and a bit here. Shouldn't need too much because the foundation was super full coverage anyway. So we'll see how we get. We can always add more, but you can't take it away. Just kind of lighten up that area. It's actually a really nice finish together. Ugh, bag wrinkles, they're a thing. You've got young and youthful skin, I envy you. <laughs> okay, so that's the concealer on. I don't think we need any more of that. So next we will go to bronzer slash contour. Okay, Belle, so we can hear you purring, so you're clearly in a good mood. Now, which of these three? You have to get up though. Stand up. Come on. Come on, you can have all the belly rubs after you choose something. Now choose one. Choose one and you get more belly rubs. Come. Choose one. <laughs> right, choose one of these and you can have more belly rubs. Which one? No, really, Are you, you're gonna wash yourself. Oh, okay, yes, there we go, we have a winner. We have a winner, the Park Avenue Prince. Oh, very ladylike, very ladylike. She didn't do too badly for bronzer. She picks the uh, Tarte Park Avenue Princess, which you've seen me use loads, and it's genuinely one of my go-tos. I don't really have that many choices for contour, to be honest, so. She picked an eyes and it smells so good. Right, I'm gonna go for the princess cut, which is this one. So it's slightly warmer uh, because this foundation is ridiculously pale. So I'm just gonna warm it up. We're just going to do a bit of a nose contour. And for setting powder, stop colouring the box and come and put a setting powder. That'd be great. Setting powder. Please ignore the fluff on the carpet. Our hoover broke, it's in repairs. And it's old Belle. Which one? Which one of these? Pick it, pick it. 
Oi! Well, the box is really nice, but I can't wear it as a setting powder. Which one? We're gonna get a setting powder? Leave that damn box alone. Cats are useless. Oh, there we go. So for setting powder, Belle picked the uh, Touch Behold Translucent Powder. So I'm just gonna go in with some of that down the bridge of the nose to do the Nikki Tutorials nose contour thing. And then I'm just going to lighten it up with some of the lighter uh, powder from the Tarte palette. Because that's not pale enough. Oh, road sweepers. Okay, and then I'm just going to take a little bit of the setting powder under my eyes. Go. Okay, next. Look. So she's actually gone straight for <laughs> the dandelion. So we're actually getting that. Did I actually get that on film? <laughs> She did it so quickly. Oh, my hay fever. So for blusher, Belle picked the Dandelion by Benefit. Okay. So I actually quite like their uh, blusher brushes. I don't know. Like some people say that they don't like them. They don't use them, but I actually quite like them. They're good. They go on quick, pretty quick. And then I just go in with a, a rounder one, really. Just kind of blend it out. I like dandelion, it's very pretty. It's quite nice. I've not used it for ages actually, so it's kind of nice that she picked it. So I'm gonna put a little bit on the end of my schnoz. Okay, so next, highlighter. Okay, pick a box. Pick a box. And the winner is dandelion, twinkle. Because it was right next to you. You look like the laziest animal ever. Really? This one? This one. So for highlighter, Belle's obviously on a theme. She went with Dandelion Twinkle, which is one of the more subtle of the Benefit highlighters. Um, it's kind of slightly pink and it's got um, a nice kind of like reflection in it. I really like it. This is kind of one of my standard ones that I wear for work it's just a little bit less intense than others okay so that is highlighter done so let's now do brows i've got three different ones which one Clearly the brow pencils are interesting. These two she tried to bite. So it's between these two, which two? This one or this one? Okay, she seems to keep coming back to the benefit one. She did try to, really? Now you're alive? You want to eat the brow pencil. Literally, cats. Look at that face, she's so She's clearly in the world of a cat, an eyebrow pencil is something to be excited by. So, thanks for that, Belle. 
This is precisely my brow by Benefit and I'm almost out of it, to be honest. Let's go and buy one today actually. Okay, so the brows are on. So next, we are going to go to eyes. Okay. No pressure, but this is big choices now. Okay, so you've got Belle, you've got the Glisten Up, BH Cosmetics, Summer in Centre. Okay, wait, Jeffree Star, stop sniffing that one. Can you, right, you've sniffed two now. Can you make a decision? You've sniffed two of them. Okay, you sniff Jeffrey and you sniff Morphe, so now you need to decide properly. She's sniffing Morphe quite a lot. I don't know if that's just because it's the one that's nearest to her, but we might have to go with that. Right, is that the one you're picking? You want this one? Or this one? You sniff them both. What about this one? You want this one? This one? Okay, we're going with this one because okay, she's sniffing. So for eyes, Belle picked the 35M Boss Mode palette from Morphe, which I was a bit like, oh, I don't know, that's gonna match what I'm wearing. But actually it's got some nice greens and things in it. So actually I think we can do a nice kind of green and red accent to go with my watermelons. So, that sounds so rude to say it's cool with my melons uh i think we're gonna go with i'm gonna go with this matte green here which is the fourth one along it's called express yourself okay so i'm going to express myself so today's pre-wedding excitement is i am going to take one of my bridesmaids into town um she's coming over in a minute to uh, help her buy some makeup. She texted me and she was like, what do I have to bring uh, for my makeup? Because she doesn't want to uh, use the one that the makeup artist is uh, doing. She doesn't want to share makeup, obviously, with uh, COVID and stuff at the moment. Um, so she's going to bring her own makeup for it. And then she texted me and was like, I don't know, I don't have anything. And I was like, what do you mean you don't have anything? Um, and then she sent me a picture of her makeup collection, which was one eyeshadow. So, <laughs> uh, she lived with me for like over 10 years. So, uh, she used all of mine. <laughs> so yeah, we're, go we're, we're gonna go and we're gonna get her, uh, some, uh, makeup today <laughs> for, uh, the wedding. So I am going to, do you know what? No, I'm gonna bring that even further over. I think I'm going to go all this way with that. Really annoys me that this palette doesn't have a mirror. I know I say this every time I use a Morphe palette, but still. <laughs> okay, and then I'm going to go in with the only thing that's really a transition colour in here. Um, I'm going to go in with this for the transition colour which is the shade Light of the Party. Well, that's blending nicely, it's okay. I haven't used this palette too much, actually. I bought it for like one outfit, and then of course, you don't wear that outfit super often, and you don't naturally pick it up, but it's such a pretty palette. Pigment on that green was really nice. I could blend better here. Like it's not blended. Okay, I said it was blending really nice. I actually have to work quite hard here. It's nice though. That's nice. I 
Okay, and then, um, hmm, I think I'm going to go in with, oh, I've got two different, right, I've got this one, I've got this one, which is the shade Confidence and Colour Persona. They're very similar. One slightly more red and one slightly more orange. I think I'm going to go for the slightly... I'm going to go for the slightly more orange one, actually. It looks a bit more close to that colour that's in there. So let me just grab a makeup wipe. Get rid of that off my fingers. Yeah. I'm going to go for the slightly more orangey one for the inner corner. Okay, that had pink on it. So where's my colour changer? Just change the colour out on that. Oh yes. Oh, we like that. Look at that pigment. What? Guys, have you seen that? Look at the pigment on that. Oh, what melon realness. Oh, I love that. I love that so much. Right, I actually want a little bit of shit. Oh, this is me. You know I like a halo eye. So I'm going to take the colour uh, Bold Moves. I'm going to put that down the centre. Not with that brush, I'm not. Okay. That's it. That's just a nice touch. Down the middle. Okay, and then I'm going to take uh, I'm gonna take. We'll take this colour here, I think, and use that on the lower lash line. That's the colour fired up. Yep. And I'm actually gonna put a bit of that. Uh, confidence colour. Move it. Yeah, I like that. Okay. How light is that light? Is that... Um, can I get an inner corner pop with that light colour from the beginning? Light of the party. Yeah, it's not bad. It's quite nice actually. Okay, so I'm going to go and do the other eye and then I will be back with eyeliner. I actually forgot to ask Belle which eyeliner so we're coming back to the old man look at him he's so impressed Matt can you pick one please this one yeah sort of sniffed it got two come pick what do you think which one which one Now which? You decide. You decide. Okay, that one definitely. You licked that one, that's the one, okay, So both eyes are done and we are back with the AOA, uh, this is the Dollar Store Miss Shop Miss A uh, Artista Eyeliner Pen. 
chosen by old man McCavity. He's very unhappy about having to choose it. Actually quite a good eyeliner this one I quite like it for a dollar we've got a super fine tip so it's actually very good you picked me some good colors my pussy cats that eye is good <laughs> I actually really like it I could have gone for it naturally but as they picked the uh palette I had to kind of go with it okay so I will be back now with the final thing with oh no not the final thing nearly the final thing so mascara is next okay so we're back with you mascara. have got four mascaras to choose from which one I think we need to play with the eyeliners what about this one this one, this one, this one, or this one. What about if I held them up? Would that be make it more exciting for you? Let's be like Wolverine. Right, now which one? Pick one. Oh, pick one. Okay, I actually one. went for my old faithful, Bad Girl Bang. I've not used this in a few weeks because I've literally been in love with the Tarte uh, mascara, but this is such a good mascara. I do love it. The only kind of thing that I would say that makes the Tarte one superior is I feel it's a little bit more dramatic, but also um, it doesn't transfer. And I find that with me, Bad Girl Bang does transfer during the day. I mean, not to the point that like I bin it because I love this mascara, but um, yeah. So I've kind of swayed a little bit more towards Tarte uh, since I started using that product simply because of the lack of transfer. Okay, so we're going to be back with the lip next. That was actually gone completely. So we're going to ask McCavity. McCavity, which lipstick? Which one? Pick one. Get up. Pick one. Pick one. I know you're old, but still. Pick one. Right. This one or this one? They're right in front of your nose. Neither? Okay. This one or this one? You're like, can I just sleep? This one or this one? Ah, there we go, okay. So McCavity chose a uh, Unique's Splash Liquid Lip in the shade, so small, I can't even see it. Stately, I haven't used this for ages, it's quite thick. It's a nice color though. How have I got eyeshadow on my chin? I've just seen it. There's eyeshadow on my chin. And it's not moving. <gasps> okay, we'll just pretend it's a bit of colour correction. <laughs> and just dab over it. Eyeshadow on the chin, that's a new one.
there we go I actually really like uh, these liquid lips from uh, Unique. They last a really long time and they um, they feel quite um, hydrating. They don't get very dry. Again, it's a product I've not used for ages. So thank you, Buzzcat, for choosing it. Um, and then let's come back with setting spray. Back. You're not done yet. Come here. Floppy one. Now which one? Hey, we have a winner. So the Morphe Illuminating Setting Spray is being added.